Monday, and welcome to another episode of the Sean Farrell Podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time, all the time. God is great. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get right, right to it. So, the last video I talked about, um, dark, dangerous, no, oh, light, it's like coming down, going down the I-55 bridge, okay? And I didn't think about this until I after until after I posted a, a video. Um, that bridge is so dark. That bridge is so oh, dark. I fifty five bridge is so dark. When you're coming in from the bridge, when you're crossing back in the ten in the sea from Arkansas on, on that bridge, you can't even see the damn bridge. <laughs> you cannot even see the damn bridge. When you're coming in from Arkansas, coming into Tennessee, you cannot see that damn bridge. So what you're essentially doing is you're basically following the um, lights of the other cars. Okay. That's what, what you're doing. But yeah. You can't see either had a, a bridge coming in from Arkansas. Okay. Coming back into Tennessee. Yeah. It's like, like I said, um, dealing with suicide, being suicidal every day, dark, dangerous, no light. Okay. Dark, dangerous, no light. And so, um, I've said time and time again, we need to have more and more conversations and I'm going to reinforce that point again. We just need to have more of these conversations and we can save a whole lot of lives. Okay. Um, and I'll go back to some professional athletes. Okay. Who... Um, undoubted, or who undoubtedly saved a lot out of lives. Okay, I remember when Brian Dawkins gave his Hall of Fame speech, Hall of Fame safety for the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I remember when he gave his Hall of Fame speech. Um, he talk, talked about how he attempted. He attempted, okay. So then Terrell Davis, um, after the speeches were done, Terrell Davis said the thing that got him was Brian Dawkins. He said Brian Dawkins saved a lot of lives to to a night, okay. So um, I also um, another a player um, Hayden Hurst. Don't know who he plays for. I know he plays for somebody, but forget which team he's on. Talked about his struggles. I know he saved a lot, a lot of lives. And um, Dak Prescott talking about his brother suicide. Saved a lot, saved a lot, a lot of lives. Okay. Um, and so um. If Hall of Famers, football players, star football players can um, speak up and advocate for you no know, suicide prevention and mental health, you no, know, we can speak ego up too. Okay, you no, know, we can speak ego up too. Problem is, um. There are people who speak up, but not enough people speak up. Okay. And so, um, we need more people to speak up because 
um, talk saves lives. No doubt about it. Um, there is a talk saves lives presentation that is taking place um, at the Benjamin Hooks Library here in Memphis on the 28th of August at 6 p.m. Okay. And that is the exact same place where um, someone ended their life by suicide. Okay. That is the exact same place where someone ended their life by suicide. So, um, there will be a Talk Safe Lies presentation going on. Okay. And you know, um, there were some out there who thought that um, Twitch's death by suicide was gonna spark even a greater con conversation. It didn't. Um, we thought Regina King's. Regina King's son um, would spark a greater conversation about suicide. It didn't. We thought Robin Williams' death would um, um, lead to a much more broader, much more extended conversation about suicide. It didn't. Okay. And, um, we talk about how the dangers of drugs. We talk about the dangers of drugs. That's normal. Um, talk about the dangers of drinking. That's normal. Um, so I can't talk about suicide being normalized. I mentioned this the previous video. Every 40 seconds. It, it happens every 40 seconds, okay? So... If it happens every 40 seconds, it should be normal. I'm talking about something that happens every 40 seconds. Because every 40 seconds, someone loses all hope. They lose all will to live. Um, they believe they're a burden, among other facts among other fa actors, okay? So, if we just have, start having more conversations about suicide in schools and public workplaces, um, law enforcement, um, Wherever, a lot more people would be willing to speak up. But because not enough people speak up about suicide, there are a lot of people out there who won't reach out for help. Um, because we haven't talked about suicide enough. And, um, if you're feeling suicidal, it is not a sign of weakness to get help. Okay, it is not a sign of weakness to seek help. It's a sign of strength. And it takes an incredible amount of strength to reach out for help. Especially when you've reached out for help multiple times and you've been shunned. So take strength to reach out for help it really does um, at a friend her ex-husband her ex-husband ended ended his life by suicide 
years ago, okay? Ended his life by suicide years ago. And um, I know whenever his, um, the anniversary of his uh, death by suicide comes up, I know she, I know she gets trauma flashbacks. Um, <clears throat> I know she gets trauma flashbacks to um to when her husband ended her life. I mean, ended his life by suicide. Um. So yeah. Um. I believe she's gonna be speaking at a event at an event in Nashville. Coming up soon, okay. And so, um, one of the things that I've always wanted to do is, you know, go into schools and talk about suicide prevention. Just wanted to um, go to schools, businesses, um, churches um even speaking to law enforcement that's one of the things that um i've always wanted to do is you know um going to schools businesses law enforcement you know just talk about the importance of speaking about mental health because it is important because we're losing too many people because not enough people speak up, okay? Not enough people speak up. I mean, I post about it often on Instagram. I talk about it often on this channel. But um, more people have to talk about it. Um, um... have a friend who tried to end his life and um and um he said he put the gun to his head pulled the trigger gun didn't go off the gun did not go off I mean, hmm. kind of makes you think, think a little, a little bit, don't, don't, doesn't it? Kind of makes you think a little, a little bit how things would have been totally different if. friend who just recently moved to Chattanooga, um, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Think about the things he would have missed out on and think about what I probably would have missed out on. I probably would have never met him and known him as a great friend. Okay. Um, so, and I believe he will be speaking at a suicide prevention event, which I will be either this year again, I will be either, I will be there in October. Over, and he's going to be speaking at the uh, suicide prevention event. Okay, and so um, it's not too, too far off, too. It's not too far off, too. August is almost over. September is going to fly by. <laughs> September is going to fly by, and before you know it, it'll be Saturday, October nineteenth, when we're walking for suicide prevention again. Okay. But 
we lose too many lives because people, because not hot enough people speak up. Some people speak up. We need more. We need more horror people to speak up. We need more people to speak up. Um, and let me just say that um, God is so good. Um, the fact that that gun did not go off, that was an act of God. That was an act of God. That was an act of God. God save my friend's life. The fact that that gun did not go off, that was an act of God. And here and here he is moving to Chattanooga. Um, is in a committed relationship with his girlfriend. And um has a brand new begin has a brand new be beginning. And so if they gun went head off, none of that. He would not not have seen none of that. Uh, so there's always hope. There's always hope, okay. There's always hope. Um, you know, so often I see on the internet um, a saying that says, stay. So you, you can be here to see the miracles that happen in your life. Okay. And so often I think think about what if I ended my life, okay? And then after I ended my life, all these great things happen for me, but I'm not around to see it happen or experience it. Okay. So that's that so that's hope talking. That's hope talking saying. Um just keep on going. Just keep on going. And um I guess that's sort of what um you know helps me to keep keep going, um, other than um my Lord and Savior G Jesus Christ and uh God. Um said little voice of hope saying, um just stick around. Just stay hey, around. Things are happening. Things are happening. God is working. Okay. So if you stick around, so if you stick around, you will not have regret it. Okay. All right, and I would encourage y'all to who are thinking about it, you who are watching this video, who are thinking about it. Hey, let hope talk, talk to you. Let hope keep you going. Let God keep you going. Let our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ keep you going. Okay. All right. That's it. And, uh, that's all. Oof. Excuse me. I just ate. Okay. <laughs> I just ate. But um, other than that, um, that's it for this podcast episode. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out. God bless.